Good evening and welcome to Paint Night. I'm Glenda Schindbein. I'm a mom, I'm an entrepreneur, and I work in office administration. I um, came upon Paint Night when I was looking for something to do and, and to meet people. So I connected uh, with Paint Night through Groupon and Living Social. I found it through there and went and attended a Paint Night class in Edmonton. Um, I fell in love with it and I totally enjoyed my evening there and uh, decided to look into it and bring it to Lloyd Minster. Uh, paint night is all about uh, painting, of course, and drinking and connecting socially with people and or friends or making new friends. Um, it's not a class. You're not going to be graded on the painting that you're doing tonight. Um, it's a way to get away from the digital world that we live in today and create a painting from a blank canvas to a masterpiece and see what kind of creativity you have. It's a time to connect socially with friends and um, meet new people. We don't want you to stress tonight about the painting that you're creating. Um, just take your time and wait to see what unravels. Uh, as the artist here will uh, guide you through the steps that you need to do to create the picture. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank The Root for having us and helping me host this event tonight. And I would also like to get you to um, order up your drinks before we get started and your appetizers. We will be breaking uh, halfway through um, as we need to have the painting dry a bit before we start working on the blades of grass. So the painting that we're going to be doing tonight, as you know, as you've uh, applied to come to this class online, is uh, Fireflies by Allison Davies. And so this is what you're going to be creating tonight. And with the help of the artists and uh, my helpers tonight, we'll be guiding you through this process. So, um, first of all, we'll go through some of the things that you should have in front of you. You should have your canvas, of course, and your easel. You should have your paints and brushes. And you should also have a red solo cup in front of you. This red solo cup, though, is for meant for water and for cleaning your brushes. And... Uh, and also extra water so you can work with it to blend your paints when you're doing your shading and blending of your paints. Um, the next, uh, you should also have some rags and, and an apron. So at this point, we'll get you to put your aprons on because we don't want you to spill and, and mess up the clothes that you wore tonight. And then I will um, introduce to you my helpers that I have for this evening. The first set of helpers I have are some young men from the Lloydminster Bobcats. They are putting in and need to put in some volunteer hours. So they're going to be coming around and helping refill your water and refill your paints. And ladies have, and gentlemen, have fun with these uh, young men. They're here to put in these hours and they want to have fun as well and enjoy themselves. So. Uh, if you need any help, contact them or myself. And the other person they'd like to introduce is the artist that will be helping you through the painting tonight. Her name is Brenda Moss. She's a local artist from Lloydminster area, and she's going to be helping you um, work with blending and shading and brush strokes and different things like that so you can create your painting. So, um, with that, we'll bring up Brenda, and um, she'll be instructing you on the first part of the painting that we'll be doing, and this is what you'll have created by midpoint, and this is the part that we'll have to break at so that this dries a bit before we go into the grass. So she'll be showing you how to apply your colors, top and bottom, and how to blend them in between. And also you can paint the sides of your canvas so that when your painting is hanging on the wall, you'll be able to see those colors as well, so you don't see the blank canvas. And so at, when we've completed this, then we'll be breaking for about 15 minutes or so till that dries. 
so with that, I will bring Brenda on and she'll get started with helping you. And also make sure don't scrimp and save the paint if you need more, because sometimes the canvas is having perfections on and you need to fill that with more paint. So just enjoy and have fun painting. And uh, here's Brenda. Okay, so you've all completed the painting up to this point where the shading and blending of the sky is all done. So we're going to break for a few minutes and you should have, if you wanted appetizers, they were ordered at the beginning with your drinks. So you can have a bathroom break and have um, your appies and just walk around and socialize with the other people that are here and check out how they've done their blending and shading and just see the individual qualities that are coming out on canvas at this point during the night and just uh, check out what what everybody's doing and uh, anyways we'll see you after the break and have fun so i'll ask you all to come back to your chairs and we'll get started on working on the rest of the painting um, we'll be going into the grass right now and Brenda will guide you through those steps. So at the beginning it's going to look kind of interesting because you're just going to put a few strokes on and you're going to go, well this looks quite interesting but as you fill it in with more stuff that she tells you to do with your different brushes and paints and how to blend the colors and show the grass, it's going to take on a new effect to the painting. So it's going to be pretty exciting the next little bit. So look forward to that and with that I'll get Brenda to come in and instruct you on that. And of course if you need any other supplies please don't hesitate to call myself or the boys to come and help you with that. So at this point we're all done and you guys have done a great job. Your paintings look amazing and it's so cool to see how everyone has interpreted that painting. And um, the masterpieces that you've created and I'm sure you're all surprised and it's so exciting to hear you guys giggling and laughing and, and having fun doing this. And that's the whole point of tonight's paint night class. Um, so at this point, I wanted to thank my helpers, Brenda and the Bobcats, and also The Root for having us. And uh, I would like to draw your attention to the Paint Night website, which is uh, www.paintnight.com, and also the email address, it's info at paintnight.com. And I'd ask that when you get home tonight, you go on to those and give us your reviews, tell us how we did, how we can improve things, what you'd like to see at the next one. I will be hosting um, more paint night classes uh, a couple a week and also going into Lloyd Minster and surrounding areas. So look for those on the paint night website as well as I've created a Facebook page which is Lloyd Minster and District Paint Night. And uh, so those two websites will show um, what events are coming up or what paintings are we have, I have a choice of over 2,000 paintings that we can choose from since some are more challenging and exciting and just lots of colors that pop. So uh, look forward to trying something new and bring more friends and family along so that uh, we can share some more laughs and have some more fun. So um, with that, I would like to also, uh, I, before you leave, I'd like to take photos of what you created tonight. If you want a single photo or with your friends that you brought along or just a group photo, and I'll upload those onto the Paint Night website as well and onto the Facebook page. So hang around for that if you can. And also I'll be handing out coupons that you can give to friends and family. And on that coupon, it will uh, have a key code that you can put into the website that will allow you to always get uh, or get your next session at $25. If you go onto the Paint Night website without a coupon or living social coupon, you'll have to pay $45. So make sure you stop by and talk to me about getting that key code. And uh, I'll give you as many as you need to give a handout to friends and family. 
So uh, with that, I'd like to thank you for all coming. I enjoyed meeting you and I look forward to seeing you again at our next event. So have a safe drive home and thanks for coming out. Have a good night.